quick, let's go. Yeah, that's nice here. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're in Squamish with Matt Bolton and we're gonna check some of uh, his crazy features. You guys may know Matt Bolton through some photos and videos you will have seen on the internet, but also uh, through the trail preview I've done with him a few months ago on his trail, Poacher and Influencer. And so right now, what's new with you, uh, Matt? So we've been working on a new video. Uh, we've come up with some pretty crazy new features, lots of rock rolls and some drops, and today we're gonna ride some of them. So yeah, this is the first feature here. It's a steep little rock roll. It's probably about 25 feet long on the rock, and then you got a 10 to 12 foot dirt transition at the bottom. Okay. And how steep it is, because it looks pretty vertical. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty steep. It's about uh, 65, 70 degrees, and uh, just straight down. And how is the compression at the bottom? Uh, yes, yeah, so you hit the compression pretty hard, and it's a bit of an impact, so you got to brace for it and watch out. Okay, awesome. And I just see like there is, you know, basically one bike length, and then there's that little kick on the rock. Do you actually jump to the dirt, or do you just roll it? So yeah, you can roll it, or you can also roll a bit, pop off that knuckle, and almost land right in the dirt. Okay, well, go first, and uh, and then I'll go next. Let's send it. Yeah, first of the day, good warm-up. Let's do it. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Cause he actually put his front wheel and then up the bike. Ah, oh, sweet. Yeah, it's good. My turn. So guys, a big shout out to Alex, cause Alex is actually really afraid of uh, height. So look where he's standing right now. <laughs> so yeah, a bit harder for him. Let's go. I actually dropped and I felt my seat was too high. I didn't drop it to the bottom. Yep. Let's get it. Don't hit me. No, I'll try to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah, sweet. That uh, was sick. Yeah, it was good. I was like waiting for you to drop in <laughs> just to make sure because if I touch your rear wheel on that, be a bad time. Well, it's bad for you, but it's also bad for me, right? So, mm -hmm. that's such a, because it's like really big, it's actually really smooth. The G out is not nearly as bad mm -hmm. as what I would have expected from the top. Yep. Sweet. Right let's on. move on to the next one. Yeah, let's do it. Pop, transition. Okay. Go slow. Hey, uh, what are you guys uh, looking at? Uh, we're looking at the second feature that Matt built, uh, but before anything, I'd like to say a big thank you to Jensen USA. So if you don't know Jensen, it's an online bike shop in the state and they ship all over the world and they support me and my channel. And so they help me to do more and better video. And if you guys want to support me, you can make a purchase and buy any of the parts I'm riding basically using one of the link in the description. And that's super helpful, so thank you so much. Oh. oh, nice. That compression at the bottom is pretty solid. It's a big gear at the bottom. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna roll it first just to gain some experience and to really feel the impact. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go and drop it. Sweet. Okay, baguette. Yeah, <laughs> that was a bit. That was a bit smoother. That was sick. I didn't even know you could roll that. Yeah, actually, for me, that was the easiest way to ride on that was to actually set up roll and drop because I feel like you're less likely to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Whereas what you did was, I think, way more impressive, but also more difficult. Mm -hmm. So I like to build my confidence on like just going the easiest way, which for me was roll drop instead of like proper drop. For sure. So how was it, by the way? Uh, it's not too bad. The trick is you gotta go slow, stay right in the center, and then when you, right when you get to the edge, you wanna give it a very slight pop, and you wanna land as high as you can on the rock, get the most transition, and then just push through it. Yeah, how is the compression? Uh, it's, you feel it for sure, so you gotta be nice and strong. Okay. And I'm gonna put some clicks of, uh, of compression. Good idea. Yeah! 
Yeah. Yeah, that was naughty. You got it for sure. Just go slow and like very slight hop. Okay. Just don't hop too far. Okay, drop in. Oh, it's not very pretty. That looked good. I went like super slow. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna redo it quick. A bit, uh, a bit better, because that was a bit... Uh, pretty good for first try. Yeah, I just didn't want to overshot it. So I wanted to play it safe by going as slow as I could. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, just redo it quick. Sick dude, no problem. That was a bit better, yeah. Too easy. But you know what, the impact was much bigger on the second time, just because I landed slightly deeper. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have as much time to like really set up for the compression. Embrace for it. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, it's funny because you go from super steep to completely flat in no time. Yeah, just so the compression. So you really need to be super dialed. Actually, I did some high speed and low speed and I felt it definitely helped me because the fork didn't dive. Mm -hmm. So I had like more support and so, more control, more confidence. Okay, Matt, I follow you down the, down the drop. I'm gonna try to be close, but not too close. <laughs> I try to be close, but not too close. Okay, before we go to your next feature, I'm gonna show you a, a little bit of a Remy line here. Sweet. So, Basically, the normal trail goes on the side, but you could, you know, roll drop that, but there is two rocks sticking out. Yeah. And you can pop and land in between the rock because the transition is a bit steeper. So it's actually really small, but uh, there's two rocks. So you got to be extremely precise. Very sniper. So yeah, not very hard. Not very fun actually, but it's just a bit spicy. So I'm gonna do it. Watch out for the derailleur. Yeah, so you can go extremely slow and then you can see the landing, so it's not too bad. Yeah, the good thing with that feature is that last minute, if you don't feel it, you don't have to pop, you can just roll. And you can literally start with your handlebar against the tree. Yeah. yeah. That was fast. Not that smooth, but uh, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, so this is our next feature here. It's a step down, you land right in the slab. Got a pretty tight little entrance way, come, kind of pop, and yeah, try and catch as much transition as possible. And you know what? Because this is, you know, like a trials moto zone. First time I came here, I was actually with my trials moto, and I thought it was actually a step up. Yeah. And then I came to the top, and I was like, oh, wait, that's actually a step down for biking. So, yeah, I've never actually jumped it, so it's going pretty cool. Sweet. Yeah! actually pretty smooth. Yeah, it was it was really nice. You went quite fast though. Yeah, you don't have to go too fast, leave it a little pop and it works perfect. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna play it safe and I'm gonna first make a run in. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Dude. I don't know why, but I was like almost scared to eat it. But seeing you doing it, you know, super smooth, it definitely helps out a ton. Yeah, the rock's a little green, but uh, it's actually pretty grippy, so. No, it's good, yeah. It's just because it's so blind, right? You yeah. got to pedal uphill. But then once you are like in there, you're like, oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Sick. I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Nice one, dude. It's perfect for it. Yeah. I got to work on my tricks. I can only do scrubs, so I'm not in this. 
So we're gonna take a bit of uh, a connector trail. Whoa. Yeah. Fun little trail. Oh, it's super tight. Check out some sweet jumps now. Yeah, for you. So what we got here? So yeah, this is the jump line. Uh, we got four jumps in a row, and they get bigger as you go along. So the first couple are kind of setup jumps. The third one's probably about a 25, 30 foot step down. And the last one's about a 30 foot kind of long and low with uh, trees on both sides. So you gotta okay. be really sniper. Okay, maybe let's uh, walk them. Yeah, so there's a smarter way. Okay, so second jump? Yeah, second jump, you pretty much, you want to hit this hump and then no brakes into this one. And you want to get the landing pretty much right at the top. And then you got to be on the brakes, little tap, and the takeoff's pretty much right away. So you got to land and then take off right again. Yeah, so you got to be super precise. Mm -hmm. Can't really overshoot this one. You don't want to overshoot and you don't want to undershoot either. Okay. This one is bigger. Yeah, it's quite a big gap on this one. It's probably about 25 feet and it's also a step down. Um, it's really easy to overshoot, so you definitely have to brake tap into it. And then again, the takeoff and next jump's really tight to the landing, so you gotta be really on it or else uh, you're not gonna make the next one. Okay. So cruise, cruise, brake tap, and then cruise on to the next one. Yeah. And you also gotta make sure to take off kind of the left side. It's like a very slight hip with a bit of a small landing, so. Yeah. So you want to almost land left, so you can set up nicely for the next one. Exactly. Okay. Well, I'm definitely gonna watch you doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna study the speed and and then you know once you've done it ten times, and I'm like, okay, I've seen what he what is done. I'll uh, I'll do it. I must be happy if I can do it once. Should have a should have a guy like that for all my videos. You know, guys that I send <laughs> test out <laughs> test out all the stuff, does it ten times, and then can give me the most accurate feedback about like speed and suspension setup and then I just show up and just do it <laughs> I don't know about you but I'm definitely gonna do first and second see how I feel and then once I'm dialed I'll move on to third and fourth yeah sounds good let's go try out the speed I thought we were doing one too. Maybe I should go and uh, check out the first one. Yeah, that's perfect. Good speed. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, you did like quite a big brake tap, huh? Yeah, I actually did a front end brake yeah, yeah. tap. And I actually brake into this last one too. I got it like perfect top of the landing, so. Yeah. I'm not worried about this one, to be honest. Um, because you don't have to be as precise. Mm -hmm. Whereas well, this one, you really got to be precise. So I really want to focus on having this one super dialed. And then we'll Okay, well, my turn? Yeah, send it. I got this. Perfect. Look good. You know what? It's pretty funny, but First try. If I overthink stuff, I just mess it up. Mm -hmm. I'm better at like... Just going. Like shutting off my brain and just go and leave my muscle memory do the job. Because if I overthink everything, I just... I can't, I can't process the information fast enough. Whereas the muscle memory does the job faster than the brain. Yeah, let's do it again and then if you feel comfortable, we'll do a follow. Yeah.
Ok, run number two. Oh, that's super fun. It just like, you still have to break, you have to be really precise, but it's really good feeling because it can flow. If you land on the sweet spot, it like really flows super nice. I'm gonna go again. Okay, run number three. Well, now that we put it dialed in with the speed, uh, I'm gonna follow Matt on it. I think it's gonna be a really cool uh, GoPro clip and just like a ton of fun to, uh, to follow him on that, so. You, let's do it. Okay, now I'm gonna follow Matt down this uh, jump line. Thanks. Tell you, buddy. Oh, and Matt and I, by the way, both ride for one up, which is a Squamish company, so it's pretty cool. We both run the 35 millimeter rise bar. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Nice one, buddy. And it's so flat on that third one. I know, I saw that. And I was like, on your speed, so you went deep, I went deep. I didn't feel like I was going fast, but I popped it a bit and just like the whole landing was gone. <laughs> Sweet. So much fun. So good. That was a ton of fun. Thanks a lot to Onsa, which is actually the guy who builds this jump, one of Matt's friends. And so we're gonna give him a $50 gift card from Jensen USA just as a little thank you. And same to you actually. Oh, sick. I'm gonna send you a $50 gift card from Jensen to buy, you know, any any product you will need and uh, and yeah so. So much fun. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Sweet. Yeah, buddy. Woo that was so sketchy. Yeah, man. So what's that? So we got a big step down here that my buddy Hans built. Uh, it's a pretty good size one. It's about 30 feet out and, and 12 feet down. Uh, it's a pretty sniper landing too, so. It's, it's kind of fun on angle. Yeah, slight angle and you got the two trees. So you gotta be in the sweet spot or else it could be really dangerous. Okay. Yeah, I think you almost have to lame for the big tree onto the right and then once you're about to take off you can like set up nicely and and hip slightly left, right? Exactly. You have a really nice rolling so you can see the landing the whole time and you kinda you know if you have the right speed. Okay, cool. Whoa! That was a lot of speed. Yeah, you went quite fast. I even brake tapped into it. So we'll go slow right there. We'll brake tap and then let go. And perfect. Okay. Top the landing. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, my turn. Okay. How'd it feel? Yeah. I guess it kind of 
pop it like you did, then give it a little brake tap and pop it. I think it'll be good. Yeah, perfect. Drop in. Thanks for the chips. That was good. I mean, being the second guy that jumps, I, I have such an advantage because I can just see what he's done. Take his tips and especially speed. That's for me like the biggest issue is to judge the speed. I feel like I'm pretty good at it, but if I ever misjudge the speed, that's uh, that would be a bad fault. So thanks for the tips. Wait, I follow you? Yes, do it. Okay. I'm not gonna follow Matt down this gnarly step down. Here we go. Break, let's go. Yeah. Break, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Well, that was nice. Yeah, it was sweet. It looks like you got the landing pretty much perfect. Yeah, no, it's definitely, uh, once you connect that landing, there is like no impact. So you don't even need a big trail bike to do that kind of stuff for the actual impact, but where you want like, you know, like good suspension, and like a good, a good frame is to get the traction so you don't miss the next corner. Exactly. Cause it's actually really hard to slow down cause you get a ton of speed, like more than I actually expected. So sweet. Well, thanks for that. No worries. Okay, this feature behind me is called the Onsa Roll, so Onsa built it as well. Uh, it's super gnarly, but he allowed me to film it for uh, a shred it I've done a few months ago. So I've already redone it, so I'm pretty comfortable with it. Matt has done it as well, so I think we're both gonna train it. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that right now the dirt is like pretty moist, which is really nice for riding, but that's gonna make our tire knobs a little bit wet, so it's gonna be a bit more slippery than the rock face, so we might pick up a bit more speed than usually. Let's do Drop in. Oh yeah, it's moist. That's nice here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah! Oh, no way! Yeah! Yeah, I didn't know this one though. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, that was pretty crazy. Matt and I rode down the Onsa Road, which is a gnarly, completely blind rock face. And following that, there is that massive drop, and it's completely blind as well. And I had no idea, I was falling down Matt super close. And I thought I was gonna stop, and he just sent it. So, well, I guess now it's my turn to do it. Yes, you come in, it's actually, it's really loose coming in. It's easy to go too fast. You have to keep it under control. You get to this tree here, and you almost kind of no break it from there. And you want to stay nice and straight. You got a big tree on the right you want to stay away from. So, as long as you stay straight, in for the left side of the landing, it's pretty smooth. Okay. Yeah, I dropped my keys on my phone. <laughs> I didn't close my pocket. Gnarly. No way. So good. I, I like, I lost my phone. I was like, damn it. And then I take off and I lost my keys in the air. So sick. Getting loose. It's pretty slippery up there. Super slippery. 
It's a nice, it's a very nice looking drop, eh? Yeah, super aesthetic. Like that tree is like pretty intimidating, yeah. but it's actually not that bad. It's not too much in the way, but it definitely gets in your head a little bit. Yeah. You have a huge landing, so you can go a bit long and not worry about it, but... Yeah, the landing actually from the top looks small, but from the bottom, obviously it looks... Uh, it's huge. Sick. Gotta shut her down pretty good or else you'll launch it off this. A little, uh, little double. Quarter pipe. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thanks a lot to Matt and Ansa for building all those super cool features. I had so much fun. It's even though we're at trail bikes, that you know, really a free ride spirit, and that's really what I enjoy about mountain biking. So, thank you so much for that. Do you want to say anything? Yeah, thanks for coming out, and glad you liked all the stuff. And special thanks for to Hansa for building all these crazy lines, and uh, more to come for sure. Awesome. And if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support this channel, you can make a purchase using any of the link in the description. And I see you next time on YouTube. Yeah.